Hello, welcome guys. Let's find out a expression for the strain energy stored in a material. This is very easy and it is totally based on the concept that work done in stretching the material is equal to the strain energy stored in a material. I what I mean what I am saying is Actually, as you know, the expression for the strain energy in, in a material, it is denoted by U. This is strain energy is equal to 1 by 2. Stress in the material, strain in the material, and volume of material. So, how we can derive this expression? This is really very easy okay let's consider a beam you know not a beam just a soft and I am stretching it with the force P and the cross-section area of this beam is A having the D diameter okay having the D diameter so how much work done and let's suppose that uh, there is an extension in the beam there's an extension in the beam is delta is this delta uh, actually what I mean to say when you apply the force on the beam it's it is it's expand a little bit till this end and this thing is delta So, as I told you before, the work done in stretching a material is equal to strain energy stored in a material. So, what is the work done we did uh, to stretching in this to stretch this material is, as we know, this is equal to one by two force that is P into deflection here is P and deflection and what is the value of deflection as we know delta L by L is the strain which is equal to strain is equal to stress by modulus of elasticity as we know delta L by L stress by modulus of elasticity so the delta L is equal to stress by modulus of elasticity into L and here is delta L is the deflection so the delta is equal to stress into length of the beam okay I, I forgot to mention the length of the beam is L the length of the beam is L okay so the expression become delta L is equal to delta in this uh, upper case and sigma into L by E for the expression of this delta let's put in this expression so the work done becomes 1 by 2 P into sigma sigma L by E here the sigma is equal to force by area this sigma is equal to force by area you know the stress is equal to load by area stress sigma is the stress is equal to load by area so let's come here this becomes 1 by 2 P into sigma okay uh, we are so the p becomes if i multiply 
if I divide it with a and multiply with the whole expression is there, there is uh, there is no there is no effect of this a then sigma l by e so p by a is also sigma so this becomes 1 by 2 sigma sigma square that is sigma square this a l by e okay this a into l a is the cross section area and l for the length this is the volume of this shaft you know a is the cross section area and l is the length so it's become volume so a so a l is equal to volume okay so is equal to 1 by 2 sigma square by e into volume is the expression for the stored strain energy in upper material if this is the common expression okay this can be modified a little bit as you know this uh, as you know uh, we can write this expression like this to volume and so I can write this 1 by 2 stress into strain because because uh, because stress in the material is equal to modulus of elasticity into strain so this modulus of so this can be write as actually what is this the stress is directly proportional to strain and stress is equal to E into stress so this becomes uh, this sigma becomes E E modulus of elasticity and strain so this becomes E by E into strain into volume so this cancel out and the total expression becomes u is equal to 1 by 2 sigma e into volume it this is very easy expression half stress into strain into volume of material so here we go bye bye